You see, this the pecs run in this direction, so we're going to do cross fiber friction in the opposite direction. Now we're going to be working cross fiber against the grain of the muscle. And to the other side, and do a little bit of that. This feels really good. Being careful to stay away from the breast tissue. Remember, we do not want to massage the breast tissue of a woman, even if they ask you to. It's against our code of ethics. So keep them draped properly at all times. Now we're going to cool down the area with just a little bit of light effleurage. Okay, let's redrape the area and we're going to move on to the hands and the arms. Now we're going to undrape the arm and pull the arm outside. First thing, of course, we're going to do is again warm up with effleurage using upward strokes moving toward the heart. We want to move very slowly, moving the lymphatic fluid for another drainage in the axillary drainage ducts, which are located in the armpit. Okay, after we've warmed up with effleurage, we want to work the hands now with circular thumb strokes in the palm and over the top of the hand. And then once we do that, we're going to stretch those fingers and move them from side to side. Now we're going to do a Y stretch with the little finger and the thumb. And this really loosens up those palm muscles. This feels really good. Now we're going to petrissage up the forearm into the upper arm to really separate those muscles and move those muscles around. So we're going to petrissage, going toward the upper arm, moving again, centripetal, which is toward the heart. Now, after this, we're going to bring the arm over the head. And with the flat part of our knuckles, you may need to apply a little oil if it's dry, which you can do that. We're going to take the flat part of the hand, flat part of the knuckles actually, and we're going to move toward the armpit. And this is where the axillary drainage ducts are located. And we're going to do a figure eight through the armpit and come back up again. And remember, we're only going to do this once a month at the very most, or any time that the client feels a little sluggish and needs this lymphatic drain. Figure eight, and come back up again. And one more time, we'll go down toward the armpit, towards the axillary drainage ducts, and drain that. Now, we're going to start with our arm stretches in this position. The first stretch will be straight up. Pull, grab by the elbow to support. And the next stretch will be to the side, pulling the arm in an L shape and pulling those pecs. That's number two. Third stretch is straight down toward the feet. It's a great stretch. And the fourth and final stretch is bend the elbow and press the elbow toward the opposite side of the table, lifting up the scapula to really provide a really good stretch for the low, for the mid, upper back. Okay, now we'll start the sequence. 
on the other arm. Draping the arm for warmth and comfort. Now we're going to undrape the other side to repeat the same sequence on the other arm. We're going to begin with warm-up effleurage. Remember going centripetal toward the heart. So we're going to do a long effleurage, nice and slow all the way up the forearm into the upper arm, around by the deltoid, and a nice connecting stroke back again. Now we're going to come down and work with the hands. We want to do some circular friction on the palms. Really nice deep work on the meaty part of the palm, up into the fingers. It really feels good. You want to stretch and pull on those fingers and the thumb. And now we want to go into something called the Y stretch, where we really stretch those muscles on the palm. It feels really good. And now we're going to stretch all the fingers, pull on them and stretch them and pull them back just a little bit. This really helps the hand to relax. Now we're going to bring the arm back down and we're going to do petrissage up the forearm and into the upper part of the arm. We're going to go nice and deep to work all those flexors and extensors and up into the deltoid and the biceps and the deltoid. That feels really good. Nice deep petrissage. That's the squeezing and the rolling and the pulling. Multi-dimensional draining of tension. Now when we're finished with this, we're going to bring the arm up over the head and maybe apply a little oil if we need to, but we're going to take the flat part of the knuckles and we're going to move down, doing the drainage duct, drainage into the axillary drainage duct. When we get to the armpit, we're going to do like a figure eight and move back up again. And we're going to do this about three times. Any other time would be fine, just not as deep. But you do want to include this. This helps drain that excess lymphatic waste into the axillary drainage duct. Again, reminding you to only do this at least once a month. At the most once a month, actually. Now we're going to begin with our stretch. We're going to pull the arm over the head and really nice to a nice pull. Very good. Now we're going to come to the side. In an L shape, we're going to pull the arm laterally away from the body. The third stretch will be a straight down toward the feet. And the fourth and final part of the stretch series will be across the chest, grabbing the back of the scapula, and really pushing and pulling. This feels very good for the upper back. And that will conclude the arm portion of the massage. Now we will begin our last and final phase of the Swedish massage routine. This is working on the neck and face. You notice that Patty is cleansing her hands before she touches the face of the client. This is another vulnerable area and a lot of people enjoy having a face massage but some don't so again you will ask permission to work the face and scalp. You have to ask permission. Joe, do you mind if I work on your face? We will begin with stroke, strokes that are upward, with your thumbs on the chin, sinuses, temples, and forehead, using gentle, circular, and gliding strokes. And this should be done with no oil. We have a groaner on the table. 
upward strokes using gentle circular gliding motions. Now we're going to thumb and finger stroke the ears. Now we're going to begin with circular strokes. We're going to work the scalp, all the cranial faults, and the occipitals using nice gentle circling motions so we don't pull the hair. Now we're going to take and work the occipital muscles which are at the base of the skull. A lot of tension as in the occipital area. This feels really good. Okay, now we're going to gently pull the hair. Just gently. This helps loosen up the scalp. You normally we take a little bit more time, but for demonstration purposes, we're just showing you how to do the strokes. The next thing we're going to do is to stroke the neck with long upward strokes using the fingers. So we're going to start from the bottom of the, the base of the neck and the shoulders, the trap area, and just come all the way up with nice, long, gentle strokes. It's a great way to end the massage. Working nicely with the curve, cervical curve there. Kind of using a gentle traction at the end. A couple more times, and we're going to get in place for our next stretches. And the last of the stretches. First stretch, we're going to do chin to shoulder. Lifting up the neck gently, and we're going to take the, gently take the chin to the opposite shoulder, and go back to the other side, and do the chin to the opposite shoulder. Now we're going to bring the head back to center, and we're going to take ear to shoulder, gently pulling the ear to the opposite shoulder to the same shoulder, I'm sorry. And go back to center, and ear to shoulder on that side. Okay, finally we're going to take and do our last and final little stretch, and this is just a gentle traction by putting your fingers under the occipital base and gently, gently letting the head come down into the palms and just pulling gently back tractioning the cervical vertebra. It's a very gentle, gentle process. And now we're finished. The way to end a session is to gently pull your hands off the client and then gently stand at the side of the table, gently disconnect as you did connect at the beginning. So you want to take an, a little bit of a rocking motion to put the body back in its rhythm. the other side. Ask the client how he feels. How do you feel, John? And then gently putting your hand on the shoulder. Now moving your hand to the outside of the hip, into the knee, into the foot, and then gently disconnect. And that concludes the Swedish portion of our class. We'd like to thank the stars of this production. Uh, this is Patty Backus, thank you very much for performing the massage techniques. And Joe, 
Thank you so much for giving yourself your valuable time. I know this was a hard job for you. Joe? Joe? Thank you. Oh.